Hi, I'm James with James Freeman Aircraft, and today I wanted to take an opportunity to answer some of the questions that I get most commonly about Electrolyte. Okay, so Electroware, uh, to put it simply, is an electronic ignition system, um, something similar to what's on your car. Um, 21st century cars, all uh, your, your timing on the engine is all done by a computer. Um, the spark is there when it's supposed to be there, it's not wasted. Um, not so with airplanes. Um, <laughs> oftentimes they still have a magneto, which is 1920s tractor technology. Benefits of Electroair um, are increased horsepower, decreased fuel consumption, less maintenance, uh, to put it simply. A little bit farther than that is it is 21st century technology that's going on the airplane, more reliable than a Magneto. If you've been left anywhere, it's typically because you had a, a faulty mag at the run-up. This system um, gives you better performance and it's, it's also easier to start, hot and cold, and ultimately where it really pays for itself is cylinders. The magnetos are not strong enough to burn the entire air fuel mixture in the cylinder. So most of the air fuel mixture is getting exhausted through the, uh, the exhaust valve. With this system igniting the entire air fuel mixture in the cylinder, it leaves less carbon and lead deposits behind. And so most engines, uh, especially the IO 550s, are doing uh, top overhauls halfway through the life because they fail compression and it's because of all the lead and carbon deposits being left behind in the system because of a weak ignition system. So ultimately, the Electroair hopefully will save you that top overhaul. The difference between a magneto like I have in my hand here or the electronic ignition system that we've installed in the series behind me is that a magneto is simply put a self-contained ignition system. All of this is in one place and it requires no outside input other than a P-lead and that P-lead just essentially turns it off or on based off of the ground. If this shaft spins, this is putting out spark to your six the six spark plugs that are attached to this magneto. Um, airplanes are installed, you have two of them to the other six for redundancy. Um, this inside of here is um, every 500 hours, you need to get it maintained, so you have to take it off and send it off. Um, typically, it's never just maintained, it's usually overhauled every single time. There's a plastic gear in here, it'll start to break, break down and teeth will chip off. Um, and this only puts out uh, roughly uh, 12 to 13,000 volts. Um, where an electro air system puts out like roughly 70,000 volts. Um, so the electro air, I'm going to put this down, is a full electronic system. So there's a computer, coil packs like that's in your car, and spark plugs that are going to be able to handle the increased heat, and um, elect a wiring harness that is also going to be able to withstand the extra spark. So. The computer is sending the spark exactly when it needs to be there, rather than a uh, magneto, like I had, is sending a fixed spark and there's no timing advance. So one of them is 1920s tractor technology, one of them is 21st century technology. It typically takes about one week to install. Obviously, it helps uh, with a little bit of prior planning. We'll try to have all the parts on the shelf ready to go so that when you get here, we can hit the ground running. And five to seven days is what's most common. We are located at the Gulf Kilo Tango Airport, just outside of beautiful Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, right in the heart of the Smoky Mountains. Since it takes a few days, you totally could make a vacation out of it, or if you needed a ride, we can take you to McGee Tyson that has a regional airlines all over the nation.